Hello everybody, my name is David Oaken, and today I'm going to show you how to use debug mode in an application for setting flags for turning things off and on during the development of your application. What I've created is a simple application that when you run it, it's going to show you the window. However, it's also going to show a version label at the top. The reason for showing this version label is if your quality assurance engineer needs to know what version they're running in case they find a bug, and that can make it easy for them to identify exactly what version needs to be fixed. However, you obviously don't want to ship something to the App Store with this big label showing at the top for everything. So today I'm going to show you an easy way to make that something as a feature that you can turn off and on during the development of your application. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write an extension on UI application that is going to basically access an environment variable. Let's first write the extension so that we can then explain how it goes. At the bottom of your view controller, you can simply type extension UI application, and we're going to make a var on top of it called var is debug mode, and this will be casted to a pool, and we're going to simply type let dictionary equal process info, process info, environment. This will return us a map of strings mapped with strings, and then we simply can return return dictionary debug mode is not equal to nil. Now, it's important to note that when you're typing this debug mode, you can make this whatever you want, but it's good to have continuity in your application. So we're just going to make this name debug mode. Now, how do we access this and what exactly is this going to do for us? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually make this an environment variable in our application. To do that, you're going to go up to the top of the screen where you see hello world debug mode, and you're going to go to the place that says edit scheme. Now you're going to do two things from here. At the bottom, you're going to type, click Manage Schemes. And you're going to notice you only have one here. We want to add a second one. And we're going to name the second one App-Release. Again, you can name this whatever you want, but it's important to know that you like to keep some consistency. Shouldn't have clicked that. So we're going to go back. We're going to name the other one App-Debug. So we can differentiate between the two as we're developing. After this, it's important to do one extra thing, by the way. When you're working with applications in release mode, you're going to want to change the build configuration to release. This will offer you some compile time optimizations. We'll get into that in another video. But you want to go back down to Manage Schemes and click on App Debug. Double click it there. And then you'll see here that you have a spot for environment variables. What you're going to do is you're going to enter something here, and you're going to type in debugmode, which is exactly the variable that you entered in your extension. And for this, we're simply going to type 1. So now this means that whenever environment variables are accessed in this particular scheme of the application, you'll be able to pull this in as a dictionary of what you have available, and you'll be able to see that this is equal to 1. Now that we've done this, you're wondering, well, what's a good way to demonstrate how this works? Debug mode can be useful for a number of different things. It can be good for hitting different servers with web services that you're working on, or it can be used in this case to hide a label. Here's how we can use that. I've set up two labels and I've wired them up in my storyboard already. And what I want to do is if we're running in debug mode, I would like to show the version label. But if we're in release mode, I would like to hide that. So now that I've written my extension on UI application, I can simply type if UI application shared is debug mode is equal to false, which means we're in release mode, then I can type version label is hidden is equal to true. This is how simple it is. So if we run the app in debug mode, you'll notice right away that our build succeeds. We're going to load up the simulator, and you'll see that nothing has changed because we're not trying to hide that label just yet because we're still running in our debug configuration when the simulator loads. So you'll see right there at the top, we still have our label for debug mode, and we have our simple label, hello world. Now, this label up here is going to be what we hide when we run in release mode. So we're going to simply change our scheme up here, run it one more time. Notice we didn't have to change anything. We only changed the scheme. And as soon as that runs for us, we can look at the simulator again. And by the way, it's important to point out as this loads that there is a number of different ways to do this. This is the way that I like doing it best because I like having a nice, easy extension to work with as I develop my applications. And it's an easy scheme that I can maintain exactly what's in there. And voila, you can see there that the label is hidden because we were in release mode and we were able to access that. Thank you so much for watching.